Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and today I'm talking about eternal rewards. Listen to what Andrew Jackson said. You must pay the price if you wish to secure the blessing. Now listen to what Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 4, 7, and 8. I love this. I fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I've kept the face. Now there's in store for me a crown of righteousness. When I first came to know the Lord, I had a role model and mentor, which I have often used as an example for my own life. And that was, of course, Kenneth Bunty. He was my first pastor. He was what I called the polyester pastor. God gave him a revival. Now, he was a guy who never, ever went out without wearing a suit. He even cut the grass in a suit. But it was interesting that God spoke to his heart that he was going to have a revival. He did have a revival, and most of them were like me, hippies and unorthodox. But God gave him a very special love for us, and he especially uh, would always have an encouraging word for me. Well, back in 2005, of course, he passed away. And I never was able to get to his funeral, but I did get a copy of his uh, funeral. And as I watched it, I realized that this was a man who had personified what Paul was talking about. He had fought a good fight. He had finished the race. He had kept the faith. And because of that, in store for him is a crown of righteousness. Now, I'm using him as a role model because we all need them. People who lead us and show us what real faith is all about. I've had many people in my lives that have shown that. The latest one was a, a wonderful saint whose name was Leora uh, Peacock. Leora was part of my church for many, many years in here in uh, the city of St. Albert. Leora opened her home and we would pray at her home every Thursday. And I remember visiting her two weeks before she passed away. She was sitting in her uh, chair there and we were talking about eternity. And she says, I'm ready to go at any time. Well, I said, I would rather have you not, but if you need to go, you need to go. And we prayed together and we released her to the Lord. Well, when I had the privilege of doing her funeral, I was able to say that this was a life well uh, learned and well lived. Is your life going to be well lived? Is your life going to be like those that I've talked about? I hope so. Remember, you're keeping your eyes on Jesus. He's the one that will give you the eternal reward. My name is Robert Dean Steele. Thanks for spending time with me.